So I'm thinking I might skip the color dungeon. By the way. Um We're gonna wanna go here. And if you're going for the seashells, don't forget to pick that one up. What's up, buddy? Thanks for the biddies. How are you today? Really appreciate that. I put the alerts in the small box, so there would at least be alerts, so... Hope that's cool. My grave. Yes, I know. We're going. I'm going the wrong way, though. But we're doing a Link's Awakening Hero Mode playthrough. Where there are no heart drops. I've seen one fairy in the game so far. And enemies deal double damage. And I'm going the wrong way. I gotta go up. I'm okay, just did a ton of cleaning in my apartment. Nice. Yeah, I, I had to do that this morning myself. I know, I know. We're taking a pit stop, okay? We're going to your grave. Ugh. Can I... Uh, am I gonna... Alright. <laughs> Alright. That was interesting. I'm being sloppy because I'm about to get some health back. Really sloppy. Oh, yeah. And we can activate this warp point, finally. I guess once you beat Angler Cave, or whatever it's called, that becomes active. But yeah, Fairy Fountains and Crazy Tracy are the two ways you can really heal. So very limited. 
So, head to the graveyard. Oh, I saw those MFCs. Good job, man. How's the A20 update? Was that at Westbury, or was that at uh, uh, Hicksville? Oh, you know what? There's an easier way. Yeah, I saw. I didn't see any pump stuff, but, uh, yeah. Good stuff, man. That timing is getting, like, mint. Hicksville, okay. What do they have, two white cabs and a gold cab? <laughs> Oh, and by the way, I did upload that other run of Link's Awakening, the 100% to YouTube. It took like 18 hours to cut and upload. Like 13 of those hours were uploading and processing. Uh, probably like 14, actually. Whoa. You know what? I don't want to go that way, actually. Because we'll get our warp point right here. See, I could have just gone straight down. I'm so dumb. <laughs> like, literally, instead of taking this, like, I could have just lifted this rock and went around. I'm silly. Um, we want to go down here? Or is that faster? They're both pretty fast. Oh, round one has two white cabs and a gold cab, right? Uh, there's a seashell over there. I'm not going to get it, but just so you guys know. So now, we can go trade in the hook. The hooks, lad! The hooks! You go up and up and up and then you gently float down. In this timeline, Zoras are mean and hate you. Oh, oh well, yeah, 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 but I meant there, there are two of them are white cabs, though. I don't like the gold cab. Me and Christina played on it, like, twice, and I just don't like it. It's too far from the machine, the pads. The sinking seems really weird, and I just don't want to try and get used to it, honestly. So now we take the pearl necklace to her. Fun fact, in the Japanese version, it's her top, and she's topless. <laughs> get the scale, which we can't use yet. And we'll head right to the fifth dungeon, which is right down here. Uh, this is one of the dungeons that... Ugh, I undived. This is one of the dungeons that actually doesn't require a key. So we'll just jump right into it. Yeah, sorry, two white and one gold. And yeah, same here. I don't like the gold pad either. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I know a brand new machine sometimes needs to be broken in, so that could have been why I was getting, like, pad stuff too. But on top of that, the offset just seemed completely wonky. 